Sorry, I'm late, gang. Today we're gonna do linoleic acid. This is an essential fat. Two that we need, carbon, hydrogens. We see in the book, long, 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 long structure, just lines, carbons, all that, right? We do, we're gonna get a perspective on this. We see there's a couple double bonds in the middle. So we're gonna count in one, two, three, four, five, six. That's why this is one of those what they'll call omega six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen carbons. I knew it. So let's start this in the middle so we can make sure all this fits here. What we see is a double bond. Draw this kind of big because we'll focus in, then we'll get little on the end. Double bond. Single bond and then a double bond. Do it on the same, we can compare, but see what this does, it puts a kink in it. And we're gonna draw this straight, but I gotta feel this thing curves around with the two double bonds in there. We'll see what happens. We're going to draw it the way the book has it here, just to show the professors that this is a credible way to draw molecules. See, the book just has straight lines anyway. It's not how it looks in 3D. Let's drop my other crayon. So here we go. Single carbon in between. Next one gets a double bond. This is where all the action's happening. In the middle there, because I believe it's putting a kink around it. So with those two double bonds, everything else is just saturated hydrogens going off to the side. So let's count from this double bond here. One, two, three, four, five more carbons. So one, two, three, four, Five. This double bond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from this double bond. Whoa, we didn't leave enough room, did we? This is really where it kinks around. I'd sure like to part start putting it that way. Let's kind of do that anyway. I know one of these has to kink around. No, we won't. Do it this way. Eight of these. One, two, three. Let's write them in there. One, two, three, four, five. Six, that's where that one, that's why it's called omega six. Seven, eight, nine. Greek letter omega means the double bond. Nine, ten, we gotta get eight more. Boy. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, oh boy, seven, and then eight. As you're going to see, it's going to have a double bond. Then pull out the green. It's got a carboxylic acid up here. So we got a double bonded O. Oh, those are the ones that don't look green. That's why we need our crayons. Crayon. Green. Green. Used a marker on this though, because it's red. So, dot. Carboxylic acid on the end there. Everything else is hydrated all the way around. So, the thing that was fun talking about the real chemistry before is we've got a methyl out here. So, to keep the real chemist happy, let's use a regular ink pen here. This is what's called that SP3 hybrid. Orbital. They make a big deal about this, and it's really simple, kids. If you're in organic chemistry, just remember the methyl group. That's a line CH3. That's a sp3 hybrid orbital. They call it. 
So come across, these are all hydrated, so just hydrogen, 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 dot, right? Dot, 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 one dot, one dot, two, one dot, one dot, two, two, see these? Really scrunched them in there, huh? So if you like coloring, boy, you really got your job cut out for you here. So linoleic, let's write in here the 18, 18 carbons. The omega we throw in here, omega six, omega nine. Two double bonds, those are written as C, C. That's what separates the fats now. 18, you'll usually always see these even numbers. So did we lose our black crayon here? Now it's just time to color away. Let's keep our points and color the back here, black. Let me have some white diamonds. These are black diamonds. Uh, this is an essential fat now, folks. There's two essentials. And you need them. If you're a vegetarian or something, you better find out how to get linoleic lin acid. Linoleic acid. <laughs> I like that. There we go. So C18. 18. 18 carbons. Double bonds in there at 6 and at 9. So this thing really I think curves around and that's why I say the books will do this to make it easy. So here it's easy for you. You'll pass the test drawing it like that. We're going to do a funner way. Triglyceride. We just did the long fat. So what you'll find is something like linoleic acid. You know, all these carbons on there. The carboxylic acid side. This is how they're all held together. So I'm going to assume the mic level is good. So... What we're going to focus on is what's called the glycerol side of this. This is how they're held together. So see the molecule we're drawing here, it's going to look... I mean, look at that. Isn't that boring? The way we draw it, it looks... The colors, it looks so much cooler. So what we're going to focus on, we'll just draw the side chains down there as a continuation. But try. Try means three. Okay? So let's draw three diamonds here. One, draw a line just to separate them better. Two, three. All the fats are gonna be like this. Three carbons, try. The glyceride, glycerol, remember whenever it's O, O-L, there's gonna be an oxygen in there. So this is held together through carbon-carbon bonds. The fats, are held by the carboxylic acid. Remember how that was? You had the OL, but here the OL got attacked by a carbon, so anyway, the O attacked the carbon, bound to it. So this diamond is gonna have a double bonded O. This is that carboxylic acid that you always see on the side. Double bonded O, single bonded O. So that's how these are held together. That's that water-loving side. Now the rest of this, this is just a typical fat. So they're just carbons, usually always in even numbers. So the way that you write even number, 
as you write 2N. That way, 